Exploring the Andaman and Nicobar Islands Of the 1,382 islands in India, they are the largest group consisting of 572 islands in the Bay of Bengal, situated 1,400 kilometers off the southeastern coast of India. They enjoy warm tropical climates and receive abundant rainfall throughout the year. They possess lush tropical rainforests thick mangroves and colourful coral reefs, which harbour a wide variety of plants and animals. They are also home to some of the world's oldest Aboriginal tribes. They are popularly known as the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The islands possess more than 9,000 species, of which 1,000 species or more are endemic. A plant or animal species is called endemic when it is only found in a particular area such as an island or a country or even a distinct habitat and nowhere else in the world. Having such a great diversity of animals, no wonder these islands are home to some of the most unique species of the world. Be it the cow that can swim in the sea or the monkey that loves to eat seafood, be it the pigeon that carries a grinding stone in its stomach or the fox that can fly, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands have numerous species that amaze us all. One such unique species is the dugong, a marine mammal that can weigh up to 900 kgs. It is also the state animal of the island group. This is popularly known as the sea cow, mainly because of its large bulky body and its herbivorous diet consisting of sea grasses. Dugongs have a flattened tail and paddle-like flippers to help them swim and a downward angled snout to ease their feeding on sea grasses. So, you see, we have cows living in the oceans too. And talking about large animals, these islands harbour the world's largest land crabs, known as robber or coconut crabs, which can grow up to one metre in width. Another unique endemic monkey species is the Nicobar long-tailed macaque, usually found in the mangrove forests. They have brownish-grey fur and a tail longer than their body length. These macaques are known to feast on small crabs during the dry season. The islands are a paradise for bird watchers as they host more than 250 species of birds, of which many are endemic and possess unique features. One such bird is the Nicobar megapod. Mega means large and pod means feet. These birds build mound nests by piling up soil, shells and plant materials such as leaves and twigs. The mounds can be as tall as 10 meters and parent birds bury their eggs inside these structures. The heat produced by the decomposition of the plant materials helps incubate the eggs. Young birds hatch out of the mound in their most mature condition, having fully formed wings and ready to fly. Talking about bird nests, these islands host a species of bird whose nest is edible. The white nest swiftlet is a small blackish brown bird weighing only 15 to 18 grams, and it has a short tail. These birds build an opaque white nest made entirely of solidified saliva. The nests are edible and used to prepare bird nest soup, which is a delicacy in China. Yuck for many of us, but a tasty soup in a neighboring country. Another bird species found on these islands, known as the Nicobar pigeon, is one of the most spectacular birds in the world. This pigeon possesses a metallic green and blue colored feathers that have a shiny glittery appearance. These birds carry a stone in their stomach known as a gizzard stone which helps grind grains and hard seeds. Unfortunately, these birds are under the threat of illegal hunting for their gizzard stones which are used in jewelry for their smooth and polished appearance. Apart from the species mentioned above, the Andaman and Nicobar Island groups provide shelter to many other exciting and globally important species, such as hornbills, marine turtles, saltwater crocodiles and even dolphins and whales. Some more unique species to look out for in these islands include the bright green-coloured Andaman day gecko, the Andaman hawk owl, a bat species known as the black-eared flying fox, the Nicobar cricket frog and the Andaman spiny shrew, among others. However, these magnificent islands and their wildlife are under threat from habitat loss due to increasing human populations, illegal hunting, the wild animal trade, 
natural disasters such as tsunamis and effects of climate change. Many animals on these islands have become endangered. Some have even become extinct over the last few decades. Therefore, we must act to spread awareness and take essential conservation steps to protect these beautiful islands from destruction and allow such unique creatures the chance to continue living among us.